later in this video. This BK life. Welcome to the good life of a BK. Where we rap all day the aisle. Cause we never forget where we came from, no. We spend a little time on the good side of a bad life. And we can't resist the way it feels. Something other than evil. What we're about to tell you is a lot, Aurora. Are you sure you don't want to sit down? No, I, I'm more of a stander myself. You can just tell me. Just to fill you guys in, at the end of the last video, Audrey either left or got taken and there was a coin with a flame on it left behind. Audrey? Where is she? Here's another one of those flame coins. Yes, a coin just like the one that was switched out in Audrey's pocket when the Elementalis stone was taken at some point during our time travel. You guys, it's gone. All I have is this coin with a picture of a flame on it? Something must have happened to it when we traveled through time dimensions between Neverland and Starlight. But then I got a note from Phantom Red saying there's something about Audrey that Mal can tell me. Okay, so the thing is, we're from the future, right? So a lot of the stuff about the future isn't supposed to be known by people in the past because it could alter the course of time and how things are supposed to play out. But at this point, I think we can both pretty confidently say that it's important that you know. I can't imagine what it must be. I've never even crossed paths with this Audrey person. Okay, um... I guess we just have to say it. Aurora, Audrey is your daughter. My da- Oh my. And she's great. Well, if we're being totally transparent, she still has some growing to do, but yeah, she's pretty cool. I just find out I have a daughter and now I find out she's taken? I know it's a lot to process, so digest, but um, there's more. More? The Chaos Crew has actually been after you for a while. After me? W what for? Well, apparently you have certain Powers. What kind of powers? Audrey was trying to figure that out. We think you may have dream powers, but actually, we think it might be even more than that, like cosmic powers of the mind. Uh, are you sure? I mean, there are times when I've had a dream and then I find it to come true, but I just thought it was deja vu. No, it's real. Audrey has the same powers and the Chaos Crew wanted at least one of you so that they could use your powers for their purposes. What can we do? How can we use my powers to get Audrey back? Well, Elsa told us before about you going into the dream world. Yes, I was trapped there for a while. It was not a dream come true, let me tell you that. But you were able to meet Mari, the queen of dreams? Yes. She's actually the one that blessed you with powers. I have so many questions. Why? How? And, and even if I do have these dream powers, my dreams come and go. I mean, how can I control them? Well, I do have an idea. I can send you into the dream world. That way you can talk to Mari, get some answers, and maybe we can figure out a way to save Audrey. I've got the dream spell right here. Okay, I'll do it. For my daughter. Whoa! Besties, it's weird to be back here, especially because the last time I was here, I was trapped. Aurora, what are you doing here? Mari, I know. I know that you gave me powers. I'm glad you know. It is time. But I'm here because I need your help. My daughter, Audrey, has gone missing. What? Oh no, this is terrible. I have felt this negative energy. I was hoping maybe you would know a way to save her. The only thing I can do is help strengthen your powers. Is there any way you could tell me why I have these powers in the first place? I cannot at the moment. That is a story for another day. But I can give you this. It should enhance your power and give you clarity in its use. Thank you. Good luck, Aurora. Oh no, not you. You can't have her. I won't let you. You're back! How did it go? Okay, I think. She gave me this to try to help with my powers. Maybe I can use it to try to connect with Audrey. It's worth a thought. You can do this. I... I see a door opening and... I see all of you. All of who? You! What do you call yourselves? You two, Evie, Carlos. You're all there in, in shiny outfits and, and you have microphones and, and you're singing. Wait, I, I think you might be pop stars. I know that sounds crazy. No, 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 that's not crazy. Jay, Belle and Adam told us the riddle for the next stone. Do you remember it? Um, I think it was something like, I make men dream, I make them weep, I make them laugh and stomp their feet. What am I? Maybe the key to getting the next stone is through music. Mal, I bet you're right! Thank goodness we found you guys! Yeah, Audrey's been taken. We know! Wait, how do you guys know? We got this! A blue envelope. Mm -hmm. Inside was a flash drive. I put it on my phone to show you guys. Hello, VKs. I have a deal for you. 
I'll give you your precious Audrey back, but in return, you must perform a music video. And it must be spectacular, or we have no deal. Meet me at the... Wait, what? Meet where? And that's where the video ends. It's like it just cuts out. I'm so glad we were able to get here and talk to you guys. Thank goodness Elsa gave us the pocket watch so that we could time travel. But I've been doing some research on these stones, and I believe the stone he's after with all of this is the Musicalis Stone. Now you were right. The reason he wants us to do this is to somehow reveal the Musicalis Stone. But the thing I can't figure out is why doesn't he just do it himself? His weakness is sound, remember? That's why he can't do it. That's why he needs us. Look, even if we wanted to, like, how would we even do this when we don't know where to meet them? And there's no way to get in touch with them. Unless they left a phone number on that drive. Nada. But I did find it very weird that they delivered the message in a similar way to Phantom Red. Wait a second. Bessies, do you think there's a connection between CC Blue and Phantom Red? I mean, they did show up at about the same time. Either way, we should probably try to work on getting this music video together so we can hopefully get Audrey back. And I did just have a vision of you all dressed as pop stars, so... I think that is what you should do. Does she? She knows. We had to tell her. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Now, you all go and work on the music video, and I'll stay here and see if I can get any visions of where you're supposed to meet CC Blue. I don't even know where to start to become a pop star. We start with fashion. Follow me. Whoa, I've never been in this part of Starlight. This is the Enchanted Wardrobe Room. Fairy Godmother showed it to me and now I am so excited to finally use it. So how does it work? First, you envision the outfit you want to create. Chicken suit, <laughs> that'd be hilarious. No, Jay, focus. You want Pop Star, a magical outfit that will enhance your singing and dancing abilities. Oh, right. And then I say the spell, here it goes. Magikai Vestium! Evie, this is amazing! In order to play the part, we have to look the part. Alright, now let's get to work on the actual video. Besties, I'm really trying to get a vision of where this door is. That way the VKs can go meet the Chaos Crew and do the music video in real life to hopefully save Audrey, but I just can't seem to make it out. What's up, Besties? So as you know, a very important part of a music video is choreography, but it's really hard when you don't even have the song yet. All right, Besties, so everyone knows you gotta have a great song to have a great music video, so Jay and I are currently here working on coming up with a hit song. It's so hard to focus, though. I'm just so worried about Audrey. I hope she's okay. Wow. You and Audrey have gotten really close lately, huh? No, she's just, you know, she's been really cool lately, and I just hate that that happened. Right. All right, Bestie, so I'm actually in charge of props for this music video, and oh, looks like Jay left his jacket on the floor when we changed. I'm actually gonna put it on right now. I am freezing. Wait a second, what's this? Wait, if I remember from pictures, this is the Elementala Stone. What? No! Hold on a second, you guys. Does that mean that Jay took the stone from Audrey's pocket and left the flame coin behind? This is all so sus, but I don't want to call him out until I get more information. I mean, he could be being framed or something. For now, this will be our little secret. Besties, good news, I believe I've located the door and it's in the Starlight Tower, but it's not quite the Starlight Tower. Meaning, I did some research and it turns out that there's a whole other dimension, an alternate side, if you will. So it's like the Starlight Tower, but different. I mean, as we know, these stones span time and space dimensions, so now we just have to figure out how to get the VKs to the other side. Are you guys ready? I think so. As ready as we'll ever be. I just hate that we're going to have to do this to literally give him the stone. Right, but we have to save Audrey. Exactly, we can get the stone back after. Okay, I have a spell that I think might work when combined with the magic of the Dreamcatcher. Here it goes. Altera Aperium! Whoa, it's like we're still in the tower, but, but not. Exactly, and Aurora's gone and, oh, um, hi. Audrey! Welcome to the other side, VKs. Took you long enough. Well, you need to get better recording equipment. We couldn't hear what you said. So really, that's on you, dude. You guys, you can't do this. We can't give them a stone. We're here to save you, and this is what it takes. Besties, I really hope they're okay, and... No one will find their memories here. <laughs> 
Pisces, I believe I just had a vision of the Chaos Crew, but, but not in the future, in the present, and based on what they said, I believe that box has Belle and Adam's memories in it. Oh, where were they? That looked kind of familiar. Oh, wait a second. That gives me an idea. Tick tock. All right, you guys, are we doing this? Let's do it. Time to rock. Time to stand, feel the beat from your chest to your feet. There ain't no Stone and I'm in charge here, and I said I'll be taking it from here. On to the next task I told you to do. Ugh, I never get to have any fun. Who are you? Give us Audrey back and tell us who you really are. You want to know who I am? Um, yeah. Fine, I'll show you. OMG, besties, is CC1 about to do a face reveal? <gasps> Aurora? You're CC1? No, I got an idea to disguise myself as CC1 after I had a vision of the real CC1, and I found this out. They're keeping Belle and Adam's memories in a box somewhere. Wait, really? Where? That's the thing, I vaguely recognize the room, but I don't know where it is. How did you come up with the idea to do this? Well, seeing CC1 definitely gave me the idea because I knew they were occupied, so I went and I used the enchanted wardrobe room to become CC1. Then I assumed that CC1 had given CC Blue tasks to do, and sure enough, it worked. We better get the music stone and get back before they realize what's happened. Also, hi, I'm... I know. It's so nice to meet you. But I guess to you, we've already met. <laughs> we have a lot of catching up to do. All right, this must be the music stone. It's time to get back. Altera Aperium! Oh man, it is good to be back. That other side place is creepy. And also, I'm excited to get back into our regular outfits. I think I've had enough shiny spandex for one day. No offense. Bessies, I still haven't said anything to Jay about the Elementalis stone. Should I put it back in his pocket so he doesn't know it's gone? Or should I confront him? You guys, I have another voicemail from B. Oh, you guys, 
I should have known it was my mom. Okay, we have to go find this V and stop my mom. Hi, besties. Are you ready to play a game? I'll see you in the digital world. 